Hey guys, today I want to teach you how to submit replays and how to gather replays for streaming in Rivals of Ether. So, in Rivals of Ether, if you're on the main menu and you scroll down to Extras and click on Replays, this is where your replays are stored. If you look in the top left corner here, um, there's an option called Autosave. I have mine set for all, but you can also make it so it just saves your online sets, your local sets, or none. The default is none, and I strongly advise that you set Autosave to all. What ends up happening is you get eight pages of replays for I believe a total of 128 replays that can be saved in the game. Um, if you star a replay, it will not be deleted because what ends up happening is when you get all 128 replays, as you get a new one, it just deletes your oldest replay. So by starring it, it makes it so the replay doesn't get deleted. Um, so you can do that for any cool clips you get so that you don't potentially lose those clips um, or just highlight your tournament sets so they're easier to find. So if you look at these sets here, um, all these were played on 12 to 2020. Um, these three are against Revelo. So say this is a set that I want to submit against Revelo, but I have this random game against Squanto here. All right, how do I distinguish which uh, game is which? So what we do is on Windows, we're gonna go down to the search bar and we're gonna type in percent, app data, percent. We're gonna have no spaces in there. We're gonna open up this file folder. And if we look here, we're gonna default into the roaming category. What we'll do is we'll click on app data and then we'll go to local. Scroll down, depending on how many games you have, and find Rivals of Ether. Click on that, and then there'll be four folders. There's a replays and a saves. Go into the replays folder. So this is where all of your replays are saved in Rivals of Ether then. So this first game here, we're gonna sort this column by date modified. So this newest game here is my game that is from playing Squanto. And these three here are from Revelo. So um, when you're playing a tournament, the date modified it'll simply be the time that you played it okay so you just count essentially how many games are in there and work your way backwards so if i want to submit these i'll take these three replays and i'm going to move them into another folder so i have this folder labeled as 10s versus revelo and i just called it winner semifinals so now i moved it and it's in here so tournament organizers traditionally what you'll do is you'll open up a google drive and you'll give players access to upload files to that google drive and you'll have them Preferably um, send zipped files so that the games stay together and they're easier to distinguish. And just have them name it, um, them versus their opponent, and then what round it is. Uh, losers round four, um, losers quarterfinals, winners finals, grand finals, whatever it is. Um, and then what you'll do then is if we go back into Rivals of Ether and we exit out of replay mode, see these replays are gone. And uh, I only have this one replay now. So then what we do um, is if we back back out, and the tournament organizer, you would then download the files, open up the replays folder of Rivals of Ether, take these replays, and you'd move them into your game. So now, when I go back into Rivals of Ether, all the replays are there. And so now, uh, we can simply watch the replay, and traditionally, you would stream this to a Discord call. Um, you'd share your like application as the streamer, and then you would have the commentators commentate over that. Um, in real time, essentially. So Rivals tournaments are always um, taking place in the past, essentially. These games have already been played, unlike other games like Smash Online, where they watch through an arena function. Um, Rivals just uses this replay system. Um, but I hope that helped. Any questions, let me know.